Yes, John. Yeah, so I've been involved in imaging since 15 years. Kind of, um, we started with a quite simple right. wide field microscope to start building the imaging community. Uh, that was actually so when I studied myself. Uh, and then um, we um, motivated for, for a confocal system with super resolution, yeah. which I think kick started and transformed how we do imaging um, at our university, but also it enabled to really uh, build uh, build imaging in our environment. Right, right. <laughs> so, from your perspective, the the South Africa bioimaging that's that's how it started. How would you see the the bigger landscape there, and how how are you positioned there? I would say Ben is one of the leading microscopists in South Africa. We have noticed Africa. that. <laughs> <laughs> he is the, the user in, in the core facility which I run. He is the main user who drives the new technology where everyone else would do routine work. Ben pushes the limits. He tries to use new technology, the super resolution, the correlated yes. microscopy, whichever new technology Ben's driving that. Right. Yeah, and I think, John, uh, overall in South Africa, it's, of course, it's very diverse. You know, we have, we, have, um, we have many universities that don't do imaging at all, that are heavily teaching, teaching loaded, but would like to get started. Then we have very few universities, you can count them on one hand, that are well equipped. Uh, and of these, not all run actually those instruments as a or facility. So we are have from the beginning run our environment as a core facility. And so hence there's a lot of diversity in the country, which of course requires also the attention and hence the need for us to engage through SABI to, right. to reach out. Right. How do you see the SABI landscape, South Africa bioimaging landscape now currently and especially thinking in the, into the future? What is the beyond at the horizon and also beyond the horizon? I think in South Africa currently, South Africa Bioimaging has been mainly driven through Stellenbosch University and also UCT, but we would like to expand to the whole, especially the north of the country, where there's also imaging facilities and a lot of imaging scientists that are just not connected. So I think South Africa Bioimaging has the opportunity to make sure that everyone is connected in bioimaging and then also to showcase them because I think we are always looking outside across the borders and into um, the, the North Europe and America but I think to give for South Africa bioimaging to showcase what is done in South Africa is immensely important. Right. Yeah. To add to that John, uh, uh, so there is wonderful work that is being done that that is insular and deserves visibility but I have the sense that there is a lot of momentum. So we are currently really at the position yeah. where I think our environment is now, one can say, almost confident enough to say we have done enough groundwork more than 10 years to say we can actually take a position where we can assist and give recommendations and, yes. and kind of really build the community in that way. Right. So it's a really exciting time. 
in that respect, you were indicated, uh, indicating before that, that the resources are maybe a little bit limiting, and that, that is uh, maybe something uh, that, that can be a major obstacle in terms of sus sustainability and so forth. Anything that you can see in terms of of a remedy there? Yeah, so I think I think that's why it is really important that we have that we um, that we build the community for that awareness to to show that imaging microscopy, like microscopy, is yeah. a critical tool, enabling tool in the research field. There is because we need to build trust so that PIs are willing with the very limited funding that they have to invest that into using instruments and of course you know uh, pay for the instrument utilization right so that is important and um, generally of course um, uh, we have challenges that we that we operate high end equipment in our in our case we have a model that that is you know an overseas type of model system but we operated in a very vulnerable financially vulnerable environment with limited funding so one of the main aspects are really to promote imaging to show look this is what you can do with confidence right this is these are the protocols and so forth and hence it's worthwhile and of course it is so worthwhile especially actually in south africa where we have these various diseases of national priority that can be so well understood through imaging. So maybe that's as a starting yeah. point. And then also I think our unit has been driving training courses on our equipment a lot already and we can expand not just from our unit but mainly from our unit but we can basically make sure that the rest of the country is also trained. Um, We've trained the local community, but we can help training so that the next um, purchase of in equipment is well written by the next PI and the sure. next yeah. students. Yeah. So I think equipping them also with our protocols, with our training, etc., will help um, the, the, the language we speak to the funders in South Africa. Too. Right. And, and maybe, John, what is quite important in that context is that through global bioimaging, we have kind of the confidence that you know what is a publishable what is with data formats imaging formats so us being connected to that is e equally critical and so because after all of course we want to showcase this how to do it for globally competitive research output right how is it the National Research Foundation has an important role also in, in developing? How how is yes. your communication with? So so I th the the and the National Research Foundation the NRF has played a major role right in setting us up. Yeah. I've been involved in the grant applications myself in you know in getting our instrument uh, upgrading it actually to a super resolution platform. So there there has been. Uh, uh, major effort by the by the NRF to to provide funding um, in terms of communication the communication is limited I would say there are of course annual reports but they then cease after five years so we are already way beyond that period we actually soon need a new instrument <laughs> um, so that is limited the, the communication so the communication with the found uh, National Research Foundation. Okay, which is which is which is I think something that we would like to address address yeah. and and accommodate stronger through the South African bioimaging community. This is a common denominator in many of the discussions we have had now with with different people and and, and very nice discussions uh, here on this meeting is that visibility is one. A big challenge, communication to funding agency, actually to researchers, to users, and and then I guess the communication of impact that you, that you can really show that you have impact. I think in this respect uh, we could do something together for sure. Well, that would be very nice. It would be wonderful for us as well. Yes. And also 
thinking how we could do this on a global scale, because we do have global bioengineering, we have other tools to do that. Yeah. Know? And you see, you know what, John, what also has always kind of inspired me is in South Africa, we have, of course, a major mandate for training. Right. Postgraduate training, master's, PhD students, major mandate. And, of course, imaging is so well aligned yep. to, to provide that because the data generation is so rich and there's so much that we are not tapping into at all. Right. There could be so many easily master's degrees through data that has already been generated, but there is no kind of platform for that and also yeah. no communication for that. Exactly. And once that is there, of course, the value is also seen in the sense of that student training. Yeah. We discussed separately with Digby, uh, Warner, and, and, uh, and also Karen, that collaboration when it comes to master's programs, PhD programs would be really great. That's uh, just in a way an easy platform uh, because you have strengths here that are quite unique that are not available otherwise. And, and I think you were just checking out the PSL3 facility downstairs where there's a microscope, super resolution microscope inside the facility, which is I think quite unique in the world. Yeah. Uh, and and so and then also all the know-how you have in terms of, of the uh, infectious diseases strongholds and and uh, and also the emphasis areas. So I th I think we should work on that. Uh, we should explore those possibilities. And uh, is there anything that comes to your mind otherwise? Yeah, I mean. Generally, I think we can say that we are just incredibly excited and also really um, encouraged by the network that is yeah. emerging and the recognition that is also emerging, yeah. imaging scientists. Yeah. I think that is really very valuable for us. And if I can add, as South Africans, we're actually very proud of what we could have could achieve so far within the challenges that we've just mentioned here. It's yeah. actually. When we look back, yes, yeah. we yes. we look back with pride. Yeah, yeah. On that. Yes. Uh, uh, I, if I add to that, John, you know, when we order a probe, a live probe, mito tracker, you know, it can take two months, right, three months to arrive. Limited funding in in that environment where you already really check. So we're incredibly good in South Africa to really maximize a lot with very little. Yeah. So now where we have really increasingly the equipment, I think the potential is fantastic because the people are very willing, hard working really from that environment with the kind of very unique environment geographically uh, with regards to the flora, fauna, the medicinal, you yeah. know, there's so much. So in that sense, um, yeah, I think this is a, is a good place to be for imaging. Yeah. You should be proud. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I think the session has already started. Uh, we took the opportunity of a coffee break and, and so we, we should go back. Thanks a lot for the discussion. Wonderful. Thank okay. you. Thanks a lot. Yep. John. Thank, Thank you.